What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 11 inch. Today we're going to talk how to split screen or multitask on this device, which is a very useful feature because of its large real estate space for the display. And keep in mind that this device here, this is the smallest in the lineup. Again, this is the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 11 inch and in my opinion it's still big enough to do this split screen or multitasking. All things said let's go ahead and get into it. So let's talk how to split screen or multitask which is a feature I've absolutely loved on other devices like the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. So we're going to start by selecting our first app to multitask with. I'm going to go with Google Chrome and we're going to open that up. And then to multitask with this app, we're going to press the key at the bottom of the display. This is the one with the three lines. And that's going to show all our open apps. Now again, we want to start a multitasking process with Chrome. So we're going to tap on the app icon for that window, which would be the Chrome icon. We're going to get this nice drop down menu and we're going to look for open in split screen view and tap on that option. Now, as you can see, we have started split screen and this is really nice because it automatically puts the Google Chrome browser on the left side of the display. And then we'll go ahead and select our next app. And I think what would be a really good pairing here would be Google News. So I'm going to open that up and it automatically pulls up Google News on the right side of display. And we have this nice split screen setup, which is going to be perfect for multitasking. But wait, there is more, okay? So we can actually adjust the ratios between these two split screen apps by pressing and holding on the three dots in the center and then dragging either left or again, pressing and holding and dragging right. So you can play around, get the best configuration you want here. To see what works for you, you can make one app larger and one app smaller or vice versa. But there's also some more tricks here. So I'm going to make both of these apps about the same size. If we tap the three dots in the center, we're going to get a little pop-up menu and this allows us to change the orientation of these apps. You can see that pop-up menu goes away fairly quick. So you have to be kind of quick with this. So we're going to tap the three dots again, and then we're going to have this icon to the far left. Again, that menu disappears fairly quick. We're going to tap that icon and it's going to take the apps from being side to side to one on top of the other. Now this isn't my favorite orientation, but it could be great if you are using the tab S9 in portrait mode. Now, of course, for this video, we're using it in landscape mode. That is the longer orientation. So we are going to tap on those three dots again and switch back. And then lastly, if you feel like you're going to use this app pairing quite a bit, we can actually save this app pair to the edge panel. So we're going to tap on the three dots in the center once again. There is a star icon. We're going to tap on that. And then we're going to see a little pop-up appear towards the bottom of the display. It's going to ask us basically if we want to add this app pair to the edge panel. We're going to tap on the option and it's going to add this app pair to the edge panel. And if we pull open that edge panel, you'll see that we have that app pair there. So why would we wanna do that? That's a good question. So I'm actually going to close out this app pair and I'm going to close out all these other apps as well. I'm going to head back to the edge panel. And again, we have that app pair saved to the edge panel. And if we tap on it, it's going to open this app pair a lot faster so that we don't have to go through the whole process of recreating the app pair. Just super efficient. Now, as for this feature, it does work on other Samsung Galaxy devices, again, like the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and the Z Fold series. But there are going to be some slight variations dependent on the display size. But again, this feature works really well on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 because of this large real estate for the display. So that is it for today's content. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. 
And until next time, Leon checking out. Thank you.